Many people have done the lemon battery experiment, but how does it work? What is the chemistry happening inside the lemon that creates electricity? First, let's look at the setup. You need a piece of copper and a piece of zinc and a lemon. Inserting the piece of copper and the piece of zinc creates a positive and negative end to our battery. To examine how a lemon battery works, let's start with the zinc. A zinc atom breaks apart into a positive ion and two free electrons. The zinc ion goes into solution with the lemon juice. The free electrons stay on the piece of metal. When a conductor is added between the zinc and the copper, this buildup of electrons naturally flows across the conductor. This flow of electrons is what we call electricity, and we can use it to run some simple electronic devices. Once on the copper, if the electrons were allowed to build up, the flow of the electrons would stop and thus no more electricity. Instead, the electrons actually go back into the solution, form up with two H plus ions, and create hydrogen gas. So let's now take this process from start to finish. A zinc atom breaks apart into an ion and two free electrons. These electrons flow across the conductor to the copper, and then from the copper, they go back into solution, form up with two hydrogen ions, and form hydrogen gas. And that's the basics of how a lemon battery works.